hello YouTube. I'm back with it with another video. I'm here to do a rant. Um, this may seem random, but this is basically uh, based on my opinions, and I'm going to compare Cartoon Network with Nickelodeon and why I think Cartoon Network is better than Nickelodeon. And there's solid proof why. Uh, well, you kind of, I feel, I feel like it's not easy for some other people to understand because you have to grow up with these shows um, and you have to be someone who's like literally from the 90s be born in the 80s you have to like watch through it like starting in the 90s to the early mid to late 2000s but personally i think cartoon network is better because i feel like the, sh the channel is more mature than nickelodeon and they include a lot of all-around shows, even though it's literally a, uh, it's mainly the shows. Uh, even though the channel mainly hosts like cartoon or anime, they, it's also re really known for really popular pro programs like Adult Swim, Toonami. If you want to catch some shonen anime, um, you, your best bet is either Adult Swim or Toonami. And um, where I come from. Um, Unless you have satellite, um, they, they don't host the, a lot of these popular shows like for months on YTV after they've been hosted on Cartoon Network. So it takes them months before they decide to host those shows, before those hosts, before those shows would be hosted onto other popular uh, like television programs or channels. And YTV was separate. It did not require satellites. You pretty much just had to have cable, but this is basically I'm just describing like my setting, where, where where I come from, and how I even had access to it. But without Cartoon Network, I wouldn't really be inspired by these shows. It wouldn't I wouldn't become the person that I am today. I understand like it didn't fully like Cartoon Network was didn't really entirely fully influence me, but it was a huge part of my life because. The reason why I bring that up to because there's a lot of anime that I'm very fond of, like Dragon Ball Z. Um, you have like shows like obviously Naruto, the Gundam series, Areca Seven, so many popular names, Rooney Kenshin, Hunter Hunter, who know the Boondocks, obviously. Samurai Chaplu. Let's not forget about Trigun. Are you guys kidding me? So many pop good popular shows. I don't know. I think I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm missing. The, um, uh, there's still, still some that I'm missing. Yakusho, and this is only anime. There's still a lot of good cartoons like that are adult too, like Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Laboratory. Um, there's so many that I haven't brought up. Ed and Eddie. You can't. You can't go wrong with that. Powerpuff Girls. Like Jesus Christ. Um, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. That's not. Let's not forget about that show. And there is um, I'm at home with Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Codename Kid Next Codename Kids Next Door. Um, I'm sure they're still in my mind that I'm trying to remember. I want to trace back all my childhood memories. Ah, uh, but honestly, there's Teen Titans. You got the Batman series. Just so much that that just brought so much light in my life. Like I feel like those shows wouldn't have made the person I am today. And that's the reason why I think Cartoon Network's better. I haven't heard any really scandals lately, like um as to what's going on, if Cartoon Network has been like accused with the people that are being that are associated with the channel. Like and the people who are operating the the program from about but overall I think it's I think there's really no issue with Cartoon Network unless I'm missing something you guys, you guys might as well comment but the shows honestly are just great to me like it brings back so much memories I don't really see don't mind rewatching these episodes just to catch to catch up like with my childhood. And I have a good laugh. Not only do I feel entertained watching them, I always have a good laugh. Um, 
and then eventually I'll get to Nickelodeon, but like this is more talked about because the thing is there's no limitation to the Cartoon Network. They host a bunch of cartoon they the why they're so good in the first place. They host shows that like aren't just only affiliated with Cartoon Network besides Nickelodeon. That's something that is very important too. When you're talking about something like Nickelodeon, they only host shows that are only affiliated within that company, within that organization. I for one, I for one know there's a lot of scandal going on. Uh, there's no Nickelodeon show. One thing I can't say, there's you'll never see a Nickelodeon show on Cartoon Network. Never. And for good reason, because they are competing with each other. And I'll eventually go back to Nickelodeon. I feel like Nickelodeon was, was prime, like in the 90s, early 2000s. But I feel like mid to late 2000s, it was going downhill for me. Because I was actually... And let me go, let me show you. But there's a lot to discuss about the Nickelodeon. I'm not done here. Um, there were shows like Rocco's Modern Life, Hey Arnold. Um, you have several out there that I'm trying to remember. Um, Angry Beavers. SpongeBob SquarePants used to be really funny back then. Fairly Odd Parents as, as well. Uh, there was Robot Boy. I'm not sure how mature that was. But the one thing I could really say is Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Well, how could I have missed that? No. Um, I, I don't want to bring up the, like, the... But they don't show only cartoons. Yeah, uh, Rugrats is actually good too. It was great as well. I want to mention Drake and Josh, iCarly, or like, or like the, what was it, the, that, with those group of white guys, um, I think it's, uh, Big Rush, or whatever, and then there was Victorious, um, though, to be fair, the animated shows were a lot better, in my opinion, rather than the, the live action shows, um. But the one thing I could say about Nickelodeon, it just didn't, it doesn't really compare to Cartoon Network because it feels, it felt it was more childish. And, the, and there was Avatar. What? I forgot about Avatar: The Last Airbender. I should have brought that up as well. Wow. Wow. Mind you, like, I, I, okay, that was part of Nickelodeon, but I forgot it just wasn't clicking to me. But then it was, there's Avatar, but it just felt random that it would be part of the Nickelodeon channel. But again, the reason I want to bring this up, uh, there's oh, there's Invader Zim. Holy shit! My God, wow. Yeah, the memories. It's just up. Camp Laszlo is is awful. I didn't I didn't see what was so funny about it. Um, but there are some negatives I gotta bring up on Nickelodeon. Um, my my boy Xavier, uh, one of my uh, f fellow YouTubers, he said there was a lot of scandal going. One, there's a lot of predatory behavior. Uh, for the director that was in charge of Ren and Stimpy, as well as Dan Schneider. Um. That kind of was related to the iCarly situation with the Easter eggs, because you saw like p images that like it's it's not you people are envisioning it, they're like imagining it, but they reference like inappropriate like pictures, inappropriate like just those really graphic um, images that you see when you go surfing on the dark web, whatever. And those are the Easter eggs that I'm referring to. Uh, I don't know if any action has been done to Dan Schneider, because it's not just those Easter eggs, but he was vi he also went as far as viol violating the kids from um, his cast of iCarly as well as possibly Victorious. I do recall, yeah, there was the number eight as the room. The like there was okay there was basically if I recall. There was there there was one like the room number had like a, a eight and had like an equal sign and it looked like you, you get you, ca you catch what I mean but and uh, there was one where Ariana Grande was sucking her toes doing weird stuff with stuff at a young age so it definitely I could tell you this it definitely traumatized those kids and you see why they have and then Janet McGarty McGarty uh, Janet yeah Janet McGarty I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name but correct me if I'm wrong so. Um, she had went through a lot. She actually decided to leave the Art College show even when when they when it made a reboot. And to say why and I'm aware, um, it's a lot worse than what Ariana was going through because she was being abused by her mom. There are some people say that she was being abused by the 
employees of Nickelodeon, the adults, while she was a minor. But the mom didn't care. The mom that she was providing for, she only wanted her daughter to work for the money. And this this is her addressing um, the issue at hand, what she went through, the trauma and experience. And if that is accurate, and if there's evidence, my condolences go to her. And that gave her reason enough to to not do childhood, like not to do acting. In, like whether it be childhood films like shows or movies or do acting and like period but overall if I honestly I can't really assume but I chance are she was and people didn't want to just because money was involved and they're popular people are gonna say no we don't want to believe this um, why didn't you bring it up address it earlier why don't you bring it up sooner because sometimes people will do whatever they can they will groom you they'll do whatever they can to shut you up so they may they ensure that it's not they don't just get coerced and persuaded by money. It could be by the threats because whatever happens to them if they address it, either I'm not gonna say they're gonna get beaten up or abused. They're gonna lose their job and they need to find a way to make a living so that they can somehow lead to a successful future. And that's also one of the be that's the, to be real. That's also one of the reasons I think. It does not compare to Cartoon Network. Why I think that Cartoon Network will always be on Nickelodeon, not because of the, not only because of the um, um, scandal that's going on, all the inappropriate things that's being mentioned, whether it be in the show or outside the shows of Nickelodeon, but the only thing that they host are literally shows that belong to Nickelodeon that they feel that they associate themselves with. For example. I get tired of seeing literally reruns of SpongeBob SquarePants, Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, and I forgot to no. If there was reruns of Avatar, I wouldn't mind. Or Danny Phantom. Oh, I forgot to mention Danny Phantom. That was another great show, hit show in my opinion. But I feel like overall, like deep down, like in my opinion, I feel like it, Nickelodeon is not what like it used to be. I think it had a great run in like the the nineties, early mid, possibly late two thousand. No, I would not even, not even, I would say before 2010, personally, in my opinion. I think it, the, the, it had a great run, like, in the 90s, throughout, like, the, throughout the 90s, until, like, 2009 or 8. But I think the reason why it was going downhill, because they, they didn't have enough, they weren't, they didn't have enough options to try to make their channel more interesting. Yeah, you come with more ideas, but I feel like a lot of these ideas fail, failed because it was basically only they were trying so hard to make shows that relate to the industry that they can relate to that Nickelodeon was uh, meant for and what it relates to and the type of content that they make when it, when it applies to their shows. The shows that they want to make were either childish, kiddish, something that the younger audience would enjoy and there could be some other intentions maybe it's to manipulate young kids make them feel comfortable and, and who knows maybe they make these kids very comfortable point that one day when they who knows give a shout out say how much of a, a fan they are of nickelodeon and then they encourage these kids, influence them to see if they fit the role of a certain character for a live action show. Who knows? And one day, maybe that they get the opportunity to find themselves being a child star. But that's also the main one thing is the main issue I want to bring up. That's not only the main issue, but I feel the problem with Nickelodeon is that it was only targeted towards. The young audience, I mean, mainly young kids, minors. And I'll say this there was some adult uh, humor, but I feel like it was like somewhere like in the 90s, early 2000s, mid, mid, at most mid 2000s. But I feel like afterwards, not much has been accomplished. But I can, I can say this about Cartoon Network. I feel like overall they continue to be consistent 
unlike Nickelodeon, I feel like that's something that Nickelodeon's missing. Cartoon Network continues to be more consistent with their content, what they what they host, and it gives the audience more reason to like it more than Nickelodeon. How I know because when we had a satellite when I was a when I was a kid when I was like during a kid during my childhood. Let's say that I would usually prefer watching car. I would always choose Cartoon Network over Nickelodeon, and that's I'm being honest. Why? Because they have so much to offer that Nickelodeon isn't willing to improve on. Something that Nickelodeon just is is missing because they don't capture the the heartwarming, the warm welcome that Cartoon Network brings to the table. If you guys catch what I mean. But Cartoon Network would always be the reason why I'm the person I am today and why I've become more um, confident, why I've become more humble, why I even have a lot of enthusiasm, and why I'm able to bring light to the audience and try to entertain you guys. And they do show a lot of satire. Let's be real, there's a lot of parody satire. And the humor just bet is the best. It it will always best Nickelodeon because Nickelodeon tries too hard to try to get the younger audience to be influenced because those because the minds of those kids they're not fully developed. They can't you can't really comprehend or compare their minds to an, an adult, maybe a teenager may understand, but kids don't understand like the uh, subject of the, the subject of humor and how people look at comedy as it should be like there needs need, sometimes yeah it can go a little bit too far it can be uh, a little dark it can be overbearing sometimes it can be extreme but the whole point of comedy there needs to be a mix which is something that Nickelodeon fails to do. You need to have a mix of comedy, whether it goes to the extreme, it has to 100% be unique, but it has to catch us by surprise, and that's what I love about Cartoon Network. Nickelodeon may sometimes do that, but the only way is if they bring back possibly the old shows that were more adults, that people are more fond of, whether it be like something related like Avatar, Angry Beavers, who knows, um, Hey Arnold, Spongebob doesn't have the same humor as it used to. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents just... Fairly Odd Parents just fails at this point. Making the live action movie. And including the new girl who's part of the show. Who really does not blend in with the character. With Timmy Turner. Um, but yeah. Overall, I'm going to stick with Cartoon Network. And I feel just watching Nicole. If I were watching now. Compared to... Cartoon. If I were to watch it right now, it it would be unbearable. Let's be honest, guys, because we're a witty where my man Xavier he mentioned this. They do a lot of reruns. They have no idea what they're doing. They they're losing options, so it would be overbearing to watch because I feel like they can't come with new ideas to help improve their channel and try to make it more entertaining. And catch the audience's interest in which they feel too. Not only that, I wouldn't even be supporting this channel. Especially now, you know, what has been going down behind closed doors. And the people affiliated with with this organization. It's like, no, I'm going to turn you guys down. That's also the reason why I 100% turned down. No reason for me to go on that channel and watch Nickelodeon. Because there's a lot of weirdos on there. So... They don't deserve my support because of those people. So they gave me a reason not to like Nickelodeon in the first place. And not in the first place. In the first place is because it did not compare to Cartoon Network. We already know the difference between which is better. And even if Cartoon Network has some scandal going on, there aren't people who haven't opened up about it. And we have the child stars that did open about what's going on in Nickelodeon. So... That reason there is not to support them because if you support them, that's like you encourage their behavior, basically. You don't want to enable it. And that's something that's best, in my opinion, that's the best option. Whether they host really, they used to host really good shows. My patronage, I will not be obliged 
something that is immoral. And that's the end of the question. No telling what could happen. No excuse. So overall, um, Cartoon Network wins in my opinion. And Nickelodeon will be at the bottom because of what's been going on lately and not much has been said as to how it's going to develop and even if it were enough is enough and from what i see there's no reason for me to give it another channel chance because of the people who are involved and give nickelodeon an even terrible name and because they legit are affiliated and with those people behind Nickelodeon why would you want to put yourself in that situation why would you want to even support them why what's there to like after once the rumors have been said so but those are just my thoughts again you guys hope you enjoy the video be sure to check for more upcoming content Later in the future, be sure to check your notifications, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.